Hello everyone, welcome to Wild Food UK. My name is Fabio. I'm out here today foraging in the South Downs. It's the 15th of June, a lovely summer day. I'm here with a couple of good friends, Max from All, Thing Forage, All Things Fungi, uh, Iona from Ashdown Foraging, Camilla from Mushroom Miller, and we're all looking for fungi. And we found a really interesting mushroom that I often see at this time of the year, although it's not one you should be eating. It's actually called the deadly fiber cap. And as you can guess by the name, this is a seriously toxic mushroom, potentially deadly. And it's one you're likely to see at this time of the year if you are, you are in the right habitat. Now, this is a mushroom that goes around June, mid-June, when the weather is warm, beginning of the summer. And it likes to grow associated with beech trees, particularly on chalky soil. So I will see it in places like the South Downs, the North Downs, the Chilterns, and it's one of the fiber caps, okay? Now, if you wanna have a little look closely at the cap of the fungus, we can see that there's these fibers going from the center of the cap all the way down to the edge of the cap. That's why they are called the fiber caps. That's the distinctive feature, the fibers along the cap of the mushroom okay and we see some little buttons coming up here poking just out of the ground and then they have this conical shape and then they will expand and become a little bit flatter and at some point of the growth they could look a little bit like a St. George's mushroom it's the end of the season for St. George's uh, I have saw the last ones of the year just a few days ago so we want to make sure we don't confuse uh, this one uh, with them. The deadly fiber cap was also known in the past as the red staining fiber cap. And it got that name because as it ages, it will slowly start staining red in all parts. So if I show you guys a little bit closer. And sometimes if you pick one, it might be very pale in color. But then you take it home, you cut it in half, and two hours later, it will start staining a uh, deep red. Okay. It's a mushroom that starts with a very pale cap, creamy cream-colored cap. The stem has this pale color as well, cream-colored. And the gills, equally very pale grayish color, as they age, turning into a light brown color. This is something that matches all the fiber caps pale gray to light brown color as they age, never as dark as, for example, one of the agaricus uh, mushrooms. And it's, it's a good a feature to tell them aside from the St. George's mushroom. The St. George's mushroom doesn't have the fibers along the cap. The gills on the St. George's mushroom are pale cream, not this brownish color. The St. George's wouldn't have any of the red staining as well. And last but not least, the smell is also different. When you slice the St. George's mushroom in half, it has that mealy smell of uh, wet flour, fresh dough. This mushroom, when young, it doesn't have much smell um, to itself. But uh, as it ages, as it dries, the smell becomes quite strong, slightly unpleasant. A bit like seafood, but at the same time a bit like fruit that has started to ferment uh, or rot. So it's a really complex, hard to describe smell. Definitely not like the St. George's uh, mushroom. Uh, in terms of the scientific name, the deadly fiber cap uh, was known as Inocybe erubescens, if that's how you pronounce the, the scientific name. Uh, the Inocybes, the fiber caps, have been recently split into a few different gene, genera. Uh, so this is now an Inosperma. Uh, a lot of them have spermatic smells, hence the name Inosperma to some of the new fiber caps. So this is now Inosperma erubescens. Um, in terms of the toxins, it's a mushroom that contains a high amount of muscarine. Uh, you might know that muscarine as one of the toxins found in the fly agaric, Amanita muscaria. That's where the name of the toxin comes. But ironically, the fly agaric only has really trace, small trace amounts of that toxin, muscarine, where some of the fiber caps have high amounts of that toxin. Uh, it causes excessive salivation, sweating, affects your heart rhythm. And there's at least one recorded death from eating this mushroom in the UK. Unlike most fiber caps that are small brownish mushrooms, this is a fleshy one. And as I said, I could imagine 
someone confusing it with a St. George's mushroom. So it's an important one for us to be aware if we're foraging at this time of the, the year. Okay? If you want to find out more, go to www.worldfooduk.com.